Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very interesting problem. It's based on a rolling carpet and uh, it has a very smart solution. So let's discuss this problem here. This is the problem statement here. A rolling carpet of mass M0 with inner radius R and outer radius capital R is mounted on a fixed very thin cylindrical rod as shown in the figure. There exists friction between rod and carpet with friction coefficient of mu. One end of the carpet is pulled down very slowly with a gradually increasing force of F0 in such a way that the inner part of the carpet will first move without slipping on the cylindrical rod. Then at a particular value of F0 tending to F critical, carpet will start to slip on the road, uh, rod. Uh, assume that uh, the carpet is pulled vertically down, then the value of Fc will be. Alright, so here you can uh, see this is the arrangement. And this is the cylindrical rod. This is the cylindrical rod. And this is the carpet here. And we are applying a gradually increasing force. And at a particular instant, uh, you will see there will be slipping at this point. All right. So let's discuss the concept uh, part. And uh, here. So if we see the FBD of it, it's a very smart solution in my opinion. Uh, there are three forces acting on the carpet. One is weight mg and the pulling force f and the contact force between the rod and carpet. Since the two forces mg and f are in, vert uh, they are in vertically down direction, these two forces their direction is known to us. And due to this uh, rod at the time of uh, slipping when there is no slipping, it cannot go this side or this side. So third force which is the resultant of normal and friction that is the contact force between the cylindrical rod and this it must have it must have its direction in vertically up because there is no horizontal movement at this particular instant because there is no slipping here that means uh, the this angle theta which normal makes with the total contact force it must be corresponding to angle of friction or it will be tan theta is equal to mu which we can obtain here also tan theta is equal to fr max by n so this is mu into n n n gets cancelled and you get uh, mu value so tan theta is mu so sin theta value uh, because we are going to require that is going to be mu by root of 1 plus mu square all right here and there is one thing because once it will start uh, opening so center of mass uh, may shift uh, slightly this side but here what i am doing is i am just assuming it uh, this uh, pulling part it has negligible uh, mass compared to the mass present here so overall we can assume that center of mass is at this point otherwise more uh, uh, accurate calculation will be done by shifted uh, center of mass however if i take torque about this uh, contact point itself so you can see at the time here torque due to this fc and torque due to this uh, mg must balance each other all right it must balance each other so we can see here fc times r minus r sin theta uh, you can see here fc into this distance so capital r minus small r sin theta and that must be equal to mg times r sin theta sin theta not actually so directly we will get this fc value here mg r sin theta by capital r minus small r sin theta sin theta value is mu by root of 1 plus mu square so when we simplify this we get this answer as uh, mu r you can see here uh, mg will come outside this will become mu times 1 by root of mu square r minus r mu by one uh, root of one plus mu square that gets cancelled and on simplification this answer will come this is going to the answer for this problem it's a very short problem but if you know this concept properly otherwise it, it will be a lengthy problem and normally gives uh, trouble to this uh, a very similar problem uh, has appeared in last year's uh, OPHO so you can take a look at that problem also and guys, uh, there is some information about uh, scholarship eligibility test fraud droppers uh, for J2022. This test is going to happen on 11th and 12th uh, September, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can write this test and uh, 
uh, there will be up to 100% scholarship for first thousand rankers so nearly everyone who will be writing the test will be eligible for some uh, scholarship so my suggestion is uh, those who are uh, already have made up their mind they can uh, definitely definitely avail this scholarship and uh, you can start your j 2022 preparation and analyze your areas of improvement and there will be a structured academic plan those who are already part of an academy they know so this test will be uh, 90 question 3 hours and uh, j mains pattern and in order to enroll in this you can scan this code and uh, you can use my code nathan sir or in in general also if you want to access something in uh, an academy and if it is asking for some passcode you can use this to avail uh, free courses and uh, free lectures test series and these are some of the batches uh, starting emerge 2.0 for uh, j mains and advanced 2023 it is starting from 8th of uh, september similarly there is evolve 2.0 batch uh, which is uh, for class 12 j mains and advanced 2022 8 september and there is uh, another one here you can see this is a leader batch uh, for droppers and uh, it will be starting on again 8 september uh, this is for j mains and advanced 2022 this is for droppers so this is it guys i hope you have understood the concepts very well and uh, it would have given a new insight on this problem thank you thanks for watching it